In this video, I'm gonna take you along on a four day photo journey down the coast of New England from Maine all the way to Connecticut. Let's get started. Well, welcome to the channel. So I drove today about five hours from my house to Portland, Maine. And over the next four or five days, I'm gonna drive back, hugging the coast of Maine, uh, New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, essentially all of New England. And I'm just gonna shoot what I see. I'm gonna shoot lighthouses, piers, rocks, uh, quaint villages, I hope, fishing boats. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to shoot, but uh, I know it's a pretty area. And this is my first stop in back of me, you see the Portland Head Lighthouse. So I just drove up this afternoon and I'm about an hour before sunset. So I figure I would get a start and shoot this lighthouse at sunset. I may come back in the morning and shoot it at sunrise but it's a fantastic spot in Portland. And uh, it's a clear night. I wish I had some clouds in the sky, but some nice rocks in the foreground here. So I may actually wander out on these rocks and see if I can get a nice shot from there. Well, I'm down on the rocks and I kind of like these lines in the rocks that lead towards the lighthouse. Uh, I'll see if I can get a, a composition and, and set up for a shot. Well, Unfortunately, the sky is incredibly boring. It'd be great if there were some clouds in the sky, but I guess it's better than rain. Uh, at this point, I don't need my tripod because it's still pretty bright out, but as the sun sets, you know, maybe I get a nice glow from the lighthouse. The sky in back might be a nice pastel color. It's not gonna be great, but I'm here. I might as well get some shots. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get down a little lower, maybe get some water in the foreground and catch the lighthouse in the background. Well, I got down to the water and there's some pretty interesting rocks down here. You know, lighthouse in the background. The challenge is uh, the lighthouse is much brighter than this foreground. So I did break out my tripod. I see my camera's on it down here. And I'm gonna bracket this. I'm gonna take some shots with the lighthouse exposed well and in focus, and some with the foreground exposed well and in focus. I'll blend them together in Photoshop, and I will put it up on the screen and let you see what I create. Well, on top of these rocks, there are some puddles. So if I could get down really low, I might be able to get a reflection of the lighthouse and these puddles down here. Can't use my tripod, I gotta get the camera right down to the water. I'll give it a try, see what I can come up with. for the sun to set. It's actually not setting yet. It's almost done. Um, but I'm getting kind of this nice glow from the setting sun on the top of the lighthouse with uh, sort of pastel color sky in the back. So I've got my long lens out and I'm just getting this shot right now. So I was getting in pretty tight with my long lens but I widened out a little bit. If you look in the background, can't see too well on this camera, but there's a small lighthouse out in the water, so I'm capturing both in the shot. 
pretty, pretty image. Well, not bad for my first night of shooting. I have another probably four days ahead of me, meandering down the coast of Maine and New Hampshire and Massachusetts, Rhode Island. So I'm really excited to get started tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna get up early and uh, maybe come back and shoot this. If not, there's some other spots that I've scattered out. It might shoot for sunrise and, uh, and continue the journey. Well, it looks like it's gonna be a nice sunrise this morning. Some clouds in the sky, picking up some color. So I uh, went back to the lighthouse and it was closed, or there was a gate to get in. So I couldn't, I couldn't get in. So plan B, uh, just down the shore from where I was, there are some, I think, fishing shacks that might make an interesting subject. So I think I'm parked illegally, but I'm gonna walk down there and see if I can, uh, See if I can find them and see if I get any good shots there. Well, here are these fishing shacks. The sun is rising over this way. And so I don't know if there's a shot here. Uh, there might be something else around here, but I'm just gonna wander around. I still have about an hour before sunrise, but Sometimes once the sun rises, the game's over, so I need to be prepared for a shot. We'll see. Well, I think I have an okay composition. Um, I just in front of these uh, shacks, it's actually three shacks, but two are facing me, uh, and I'm getting some color in this guy behind it, and. It's kind of interesting because the ambient light from the street lights is hitting the shacks to some extent. Uh, and I'm hoping as the sky gets brighter, there's some balance between them. So I'm gonna set up here. I also have these rocks down here that act as leading lines into the shacks. So uh, might be interesting. Again, it was a plan B, but uh, I'm hoping it's reasonably good. my shoulder it's the Portland Head Lighthouse from a very different angle than last night so I broke out my long lens I got it on my tripod back there and I've got my 70 to 200 lens I could use a 400 lens probably so I'm gonna get a shot maybe crop in a little bit but it's kind of interesting because you do have this rugged coastline aiming down towards the lighthouse so uh, let's see if I can get some shots here just one quick tip, uh, I'm using a very, you know, long lens. I'm on a tripod, but it is a long exposure, so any sort of camera movement is gonna cause blur. So what I'm doing is using a two second timer, hit the shutter, wait two seconds, the camera steadies, gets a shot a lot cleaner. Well, that was pretty good. Again, for plan B, not so bad. Uh, I feel a lot of pressure to keep moving and getting more, more shots. So I'm gonna start heading south. Again, this is my first full day shooting. I'm gonna make my way south, just meandering along the coast. Uh, I got a couple spots in mind for this morning. Gotta eat something at some point. Uh, and I'll get a move on. Well, I have made my way south. I'm in a town called Orchard Beach, which during the summer is probably bustling. But I am literally walking through the middle of the main street and there's, uh, <laughs> there's almost nobody here. So, but it's kind of a cool spot. A uh, typical New England beach town with an amusement park and a pier. So I think it might make for an interesting subject. We'll see. Well, I 
came down to the beach uh, to shoot this pier in back of me. It's a great old pier. Uh, kind of wish it were high tide to get some water in the foreground here, but uh, it's kind of interesting because there's this really low level of water, very shallow, and it's fairly calm, so I'm getting an interesting reflection. I'm probably not going to break the tripod out because it's kind of bright out and a long exposure is just not going to help me here. So I'm going to meander around with my wide angle lens, probably get some underneath on either side and just play around and see what I can come up with. It's a really cool pier though. I came under the pier, which is kind of interesting because we still have that low level of water, almost like little puddles. And so it's so still that you do get a cool reflection. And I'm shooting the other way. Let me turn this around, I'll show you. You can see it on the vlogging camera here, but through the pilings, you get the uh, Ferris wheel back there. I'm getting down low and getting the Ferris wheel and the reflection of the Ferris wheel in the puddle through these pilings. So I think it's kind of cool. I'll have to see when I get it on the computer. Well, after I shot the pier, I just drove around Old Orchard Beach just trying to capture this really cool town. Well, I made it down to Kittery, Maine, which is the southern tip of Maine, just before you get to New Hampshire. Uh, checked into my hotel, and behind me is the Nubble Lighthouse. It's a great old lighthouse. It's on an island, you can see, just across this small body of water. Sorry, pretty windy out here. Hope you can hear me. And uh, I'm facing east, so the sun is setting that way. I'm getting a little light on it now, but I think relatively soon the sun's going to be behind some clouds so I don't think I'm going to get good light tonight but it's still a great spot I'll wait maybe when it gets a little darker I don't know if that thing lights up or not but uh, I'll get some shots there's a lot of rocks down here so there might be some interesting compositions for me to explore as well I think I'm going to try to make my way down here. Some water, kind of crash, not crashing, but seeping up on these rocks. So it might make for a good foreground. Uh, there are some puddles. I could always try another reflection as well. And uh, I'm just going to get down there without hurting myself. But I see some kids down there, so clearly it's very, very doable. Well, I've got my tripod down here pretty low and I'm looking up at the lighthouse with some of this water coming up on the rocks here. The challenge is it gets really slippery if I step right there. There's a whole bunch of algae there. And so right now I'm on pretty good ground, but if I take a couple steps in, it gets super slippery. It's like ice and I really don't want to fall. So I'm just being extra cautious, but the other challenge is I love to get kind of a third of an expo a third of a second exposure because uh, get some movement in this water here, but it's pretty bright out. So I think I have to go back to my bag and get my neutral density filter, a six stop or a three stop to uh, darken things. I gave that a shot, it was okay. Um, 
I'm gonna wander around the rocks, look for other ways to shoot this. Unfortunately, the sky in the west is looking pretty cloudy, which means there's no light breaking through. Uh, maybe it'll become a little moodier as, uh, as the evening progresses. I'm still probably a good hour, hour and a half before sunset, so I've got some time here. Well, I went down the rocks a little bit and a little bit more water action down here, I think. I don't know, I'm gonna wander around here and see if I can come up with something. Well, I've got a good composition. I'm just waiting for some big waves to come in. Just before I set up, there was some big splashing going on, but of course, as soon as I set up, I got nothing. So I'm just gonna be patient. This looks like a big wave coming in. Are we getting any splashing here? Oh, this is gonna be good, I think. Yeah, not bad. I might try a really long exposure, like a good two minute exposure, just so I can get glassy smooth water across this little inlet here. So, a good long exposure. Um, remember, long exposure, you gotta get it in bulb mode. You should use a remote shutter release. You don't have to touch the camera. And if it's windy like it is now, do your best to block the camera because any movement is gonna cause blur. Um, but I'll show you the before and after. So here's a shot uh, at, I think it's like, I don't know, 1 60th of a second. And here's a shot that is over two minutes long. Uh, very different look. I prefer kind of the smoother, ethereal, maybe more minimalist of the long exposure. Kind of cool. Well, I think I got some nice shots. You've seen them already. Uh, I'm gonna pop back up. It's, I think, just sunset, but you can see, you can see in back of me, but the, uh, the lights on the lighthouse are starting to really pop a little bit. I'm gonna go up on top and just probably get some handheld shots if it's bright enough with uh, my wide angle lens, which I've been using. I just gotta climb up these, uh, these rocks here. Good night. Well, good morning. I came back to the Nubble Lighthouse because I thought the sunrise might be pretty interesting. If you look behind me, it's actually pretty interesting. So, <laughs> it's dark here on the rocks, so I carefully set up on some high rocks. I did not climb all the way down. I'm trying to get some shots and I'm just gonna see how this morning unfolds. Uh, so far it's super interesting. Uh, one tip, get to your location really early. I got here an hour before sunrise and I panicked because I was greeted with a pretty interesting sky. So uh, over the next hour, this is gonna keep changing and hopefully I get some good shots. Well, the clouds above the lighthouse are starting to pick up a little color. Again, it's still well before sunrise. The one challenge I have is that sky on the left is really bright compared to the lighthouse, so I may do a little bracketing, which is taking uh, different shots at different exposures, blending them together in Photoshop to even things out, but uh, it's, uh, it's definitely developing in a very interesting way here. Well, I did decide to come back down to the water. It got bright enough so I could see what I was doing. And uh, just kind of a different angle. Uh, I still have the issue of the my left side of the screen, uh, you know, being too bright. But uh, again, I can do some bracketing. At least I get some water in the foreground. Makes it a little bit more interesting, I think. I don't know. Both should be pretty good, actually. Oh, this sky has gotten better and better. Look at these colors. Unbelievable. Again, I've got to do some bracketing because that's pretty bright over there, but at least right in back of the lighthouse. Now, I should get my long lens on, but I'm just going to have to crop because my lens is back up in the car. I left it there, my bag, and uh, 
I just want to keep shooting. Like this literally could last about three minutes. So in fact, I should stop vlogging and just shoot. see it because it's blown out but the sun is just about to peek over those rocks so I'm gonna get one last shot I'm gonna try to shoot uh, at f22 and as the sun rises just over the horizon I'm hoping for a little kind of sunburst there in the camera well good morning it is the next day uh, after the lighthouse yesterday, I drove south through New Hampshire, hugging the coast, uh, and into Massachusetts. I stayed at a friend's last night, a great dinner with him and his wife. Uh, just great catching up. I didn't do any vlogging yesterday, but I did get some shots, which I'll show you now. As I drove down, mostly in New Hampshire, uh, I would stop, you know, every five, ten minutes and just get out and get some shots. Uh, trying to capture some of the local area. Some of the stuff was maybe a little bit uh, hopper-esque, I thought. Um, I really enjoyed it, <clears throat> but I wasn't going to get my vlogging camera out and, you know, vlog every, every five minutes. So, it is the next day. I am in Situate, Massachusetts. Uh, I came here, or I planned to come here, to shoot a lighthouse. I'll put a picture of the lighthouse up now. I didn't take the shot. And I was really excited to do it because it's a nice calm morning. Uh, the sky's not great, but I figure it still would be a nice place to shoot. Uh, and I found out that the top of the lighthouse, the crown with the light in it, was removed last year for refurbishment. So it's this like stick <laughs> that's on the land sticking up into the air. I didn't think it would be that interesting. So instead, I came to the harbor area of Situate. You know, fishing has always been an important part of life uh, in coastal New England. And uh, this area still, still has some lobster boats. And I thought that might make an interesting subject. I was hoping I would see some of these guys working on the boat early and get shots of them, but I don't know if the season's wrong or my timing is wrong, but there's really no one working but the water's very clear and uh, I'm gonna wander around this area uh, it's kind of spread out so I may have to get back in my car and drive a little bit uh, and I'm just gonna see what I what I can see and hopefully I get some decent shots well, I just set up here I'm getting this one boat the water's so still I'm getting a nice reflection got the moon in the back sunrise is more this way uh, so I may have to reposition this a little bit but Kind of a cool shot so far. Well, I kind of want to get this boat again, but with the sunrise behind it, which means I want to get on this, I guess, jetty over here. The problem is, when I stand on there, it's a floating dock, and so it's gonna move. Movement means blurry photos. So I'm gonna give it a try. If I can go out there, stay very still, like not breathe for about two minutes, uh, that, that should do it, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. I'll give it a try. There's another spot where there are some lobster boats and I'm gonna to try to go over there uh, and get something. I don't think I'm having the same sort of alignment with the sun, but uh, I'm gonna check out the, the scene over there. Well, I came over to this other area and it's also kind of messy. There's nothing really great, but I am getting this shot of uh, lobster boats, certainly the one on the right. 
and these uh, rowboats down here with the sun rising in the background, at least the sky brightening, and the lights on the boat are on, so it adds a little bit of interest, not enough, but some interest. So I'm just getting these shots. Uh, it is just about five minutes before sunrise, so I'm gonna start heading south. I'm on the south shore of Boston, so I'm south of Boston now. This goes down and it'll eventually curve up to Cape Cod. I am not gonna drive up all around Cape Cod. Uh, I'll probably just touch the first parts of Cape Cod, the first couple towns, but uh, you know, I gotta make progress getting back home by Friday, so I'll. Uh, I'll hit the road and see what I can find. Well, I made my way to Rhode Island. I didn't vlog at all uh, today during the day, but I did get some shots on the way down. I'll put them up now. Again, just kind of looking for things on the on the road that it found that caught my interest and did some shooting. You know, I feel like I should do at least one lighthouse a day. So I didn't do one today, so I am gonna shoot one tonight. I'm going to go photograph the Castle Hill Lighthouse. Uh, it's a short hike through the woods. You can see me walking here. But I don't think it's very far. And uh, we'll check it out when I get there. So as you walk this trail, there's a bunch of signs that say private property. No trespassing. And uh, I don't know why they have it because everyone comes here. No one gets in trouble. So uh, maybe just to save themselves, uh, if someone gets hurt maybe, I don't know, but um, certainly didn't detract me at all. I've done enough research to know it's, it's fine to come here. Well, I walked right down to the lighthouse. It's a small lighthouse, but I don't want to shoot right in front of the lighthouse. I want to be off on some rocks along the coast, and it didn't look terribly safe to get to those rocks from there. So I'm hoping if I walk down, there's another trail that will lead down to those rocks in a safer manner. Well, this is definitely a safer way to get down to these rocks. You can see Castle Hill Lighthouse uh, in back of me. Uh, and if you look down here, I got these great rocks that can act as a good, interesting foreground. So I want to explore a little bit, find a good composition. I don't think you can go too wrong here and um, get ready for sunset. So, you know, somewhere around here, I moved down a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, we've got a couple things working against us. One, there are no clouds in the sky at all. It is a boring blue sky. Uh, secondly, the time of year is not perfect. You should come here like, June 21st, because the sun is rising or setting all the way over this way. Uh, I'd rather have it, you know, at least up in this area here. But, uh, listen, <laughs> this is when I'm here. I'm not here on June 21st, so I will uh, make my way around and see what I can come up with. Well, it's about 50 minutes before sunset, so I'm here early. Uh, I'm just taking some shots now. Because it's so bright, I'm just using handheld. I don't need to uh, get my tripod out, but I will as it gets darker. The other thing, by the way, is in the back, I'm not even sure you can see it on the vlogging camera, but there's a fantastic bridge. I should know the name of it. Maybe I'll put it up on the screen. Um, that I think at night might light up. I don't know. I'm not counting on it, but it could be kind of cool. Well, I got about 20 minutes before uh, sunset, so I did put my camera on a tripod just to get it set up. Um, again, not great conditions, but uh, pretty scenery. I mean, it's a, I love these rocks. They're beautiful. The texture in them are really amazing. Uh, so I'm not going to create anything terribly unusual or interesting, but uh, I can check it off my list. 
Well, the sun is just setting right now. Very pretty, got that beautiful glow. Uh, the other nice thing I just learned, or just realized, I should have known this, I didn't know if that light actually went on. It does. So as it gets a little darker, that light's gonna be a little brighter, make, uh, make the shot a little bit more interesting. Well, good morning. It is the next day, and I think I'm gonna get a good sunrise. I had a lot of difficulty choosing a location for sunrise photography because there's so many great spots around here. I'll talk more about that later, but I'm in an area called the Cliff Walk, which is a very famous area in Newport, which goes along the coast, eastern and southern part of this peninsula, uh, dotted with humongous mansions. I mean, when you think big house, these are not big houses, these are major, major mansions. But there's an, there's an area called 40 Steps, which I'm standing on now, I'm probably step 29 or something, uh, that faces east. These steps align pretty nicely with the sunrise this time of year. The problem is there's these major floodlights are hitting me now that are hitting the stairs as well, causing all kinds of color distortions and shadows. So uh, I'm hoping as the sun brightens, maybe these lights go off, I can get a cleaner shot, but I'm gonna get my gear and, uh, and set up, see what I could do. Well, that light just made the stairs impossible to shoot. I do get the shot later, so stay tuned, but there were some rocks down below and I was able to navigate them. And when I made it down there, I realized that was a better place to shoot. Well, I was persistent, but reasonable. And I figured out a way to get down on the rocks. Uh, so I am set up here I think it's a pretty good composition. There's this little tiny inlet that the water rushes in with rocks on either side facing out towards a brightening sky. It doesn't line up perfectly with the sunrise, but it's, uh, it's pretty close. I'll turn this around and show you. So here's the setup. You see the sky back there. In the foreground, I got this little inlet which provides with a really nice leading line to the sky. Uh, and water is rushing in here, and so I get some white foamy water, which is nice. The challenge here, the big challenge is that sky is much brighter than these rocks. So I am using uh, a graduated ND filter. Got them on my camera there, you can't see too well, but... In fact, I'm stacking two of them just to darken that sky uh, while it leaves the foreground, you know, bright. So finding that balance. Well, the sun is just crossing the horizon. So I'm trying to wait for that perfect wave to come in and fill this little area with white foamy water. Of course, when you want it to happen, it doesn't. I see a wave coming. I'll keep you with me in case it's a, it's a good wave. Let's see. Now, a little bit of a dud. Ah, here we go. A little bit. And I will click off a shot. Ooh. Beautiful shot. Okay, what a great morning. I am psyched. Uh, I think I got some good shots. We'll see what they look like on the computer. Uh, I'm going to start heading back to my house now. Uh, I'm not going to be vlogging the rest of the day, so I'm going to put up some shots that I got. I'm assuming I'm getting some shots, but I'm going to put those shots up now so you can see them. Um, hey, if you like this video, it does help the channel just to give me a like. Nice comment helps as well. And if you like this content, landscape, architecture, Photoshop tutorials, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos. I'm signing off here. Until next time.